Right, in today's vlog, my friends. Well, got Debs here. Paul's at work, isn't he? He is again. So uh, we've been sent off to get some meat because in today's vlog, we are having a proper Aussie barbecue. Now, we're not having any shrimps, are we? Because that's a thing that Paul Hogan invented that's right. for the Americans because you don't get shrimps in Australia. You have prawns like you do back in the UK. And it was all made up. Put another shrimp on the barbie. So today we're off to get some meat. We're gonna have a proper barbecue later on. Paul's gonna do the barbecue, I believe, isn't it? And we're gonna go and get the meat. And we're gonna show you what a proper Aussie barbecue is like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, so we're heading on out to a place called Bullsbrook Butchers, uh, which is uh, Bully Brook, Bully but Bully Butchers, if I can say it. <laughs> bully Butchers. I'm not re recording it. So you're, getting, you're, getting the, uh, you're getting raw today, raw and uncut. And uh, I think we're going to get some, are we getting some steaks? Yeah. Going to get some steaks, some sausages. Hopefully, there'll be a bent sausage in there uh, with a bit of luck. Because I, I tell you what, I've not thought much of the sausages over here in Australia while I've been here. They've either been sort of like uh, pepperoni or salami or something like that. No real butcher's sausages. So hopefully today we'll find a butcher's sausage. Now you see, here's me being serious for a moment, which is unusual on this channel. Uh, however, I have a question for Debs because over in the UK, um, butchers really are a dying breed and it's a sad thing to see. And I think we've only got ourselves to blame because we end up going down to the supermarket, down to Asda or Tesco or Sainsbury's or wherever you go, uh, or Waitrose if you're a little bit more upmarket, my dear, a little bit pretentious. Um, and then we end up getting our meats from there. So butchers and the local butchers end up dying off don't get me wrong there are still a few around but they are very few and far between and it makes me think because we're heading out quite a way here to the butchers basically in the outback to go and get some meat and I have asked Debs I said are butchers a dying breed here There, there are still some butchers here. A, most every shopping centre you go to will have a butcher in there. But I just find this one's great. Um, but yeah, there was a time when one of our local supermarkets, Woolworths, they had a butcher inside the supermarket, but now they've closed them all. There you go. So support your local butchers, which is what we're doing today, because we're going to have an Aussie barbecue with proper butcher's beef and butcher's meat. So let's get in there and take a look around. Bully butchers. Come on, onwards. Right, here we are in Bully Butcher in Bullsbrook. And I tell you what, it looks excellent. And I found the proper sausages. I've been here a month now and I couldn't find proper sausages, but they've got them right here. So, just take a look around.
Right, so we're ordering now. We're getting um, the Scotch fillet steaks, which are apparently the best ones to have. Then we're going to get a selection of sausages, I believe, as well. We're going to get the classic pork sausage, which is what I've been looking for while I've been here. And we're also going to get some beef burgers as well. Bully's beef burgers, I believe they are. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. It looks top class meat. I'm excited because I haven't really had any proper sausages since I've been here. Or I don't even think I've had a steak since I've been here. So I am looking forward to this. Have I had a steak? Yes, you have. When did I have a steak? You had a steak in Northbridge. In Northbridge, where was that? I went to Outback Jacks. Outback Jacks? Did I? I don't remember. I don't remember that. Anyway, <laughs> I, this, this, it's not going to be as good as this steak. Right, so in total that came to $103.33, um, which in UK money that would be round about £52. That was for three steaks, all the sausages and the beef burgers as well. We're going to get these cooked tonight, so we're going to head back now. And uh, then when Paul gets back, he can, he can crack that barbecue up. And then we can just sit back and have a beer. That's what you're doing, isn't it? That's a Aussie barbecue. Onwards, my friends. Right, a little quick stop here now because we're going to stop for a coffee. Now, coffee is American, isn't we're it? We're going to get a takeaway coffee. Going to get a takeaway coffee. Yeah. That's a, I was trying to do it in a in an Australian accent. That that's a work. coffee. That's no. a, that's American. I don't know what that's it is. That's New Jersey. <laughs> Go on a coffee. It, 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 what's Australian then for for? I'm going to get a. Gonna get a co coffee. Co gonna go and get a latte. Coffee. Gonna go and get a latte. <laughs> Come on. Right. So we're in Averley, and we're now going to go to a quick coffee shop, which is called Lot Six Zero. It's not. Hang on a minute. This is just. Whoa. Where's Starbucks and Costa? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get slated for that. Right, so we're now just waiting for our coffee. We've got uh, two lattes. Have you got a latte yeah, as well? Yeah, I've got latte as well. Excellent. So we've got the lattes, and I have to say, it's excellent in there. Uh, very friendly staff, and you can see why there's not many Starbucks around. <laughs> Don't mention that name around here. Right, okay, so we've got the coffees. Okay, I'm gonna carry them in the car, I don't wanna drop them. Um, and then what we're gonna do is, later on, when Paul's back, we're gonna get the Barbie out, we're gonna spark up the Barbie, mm -hmm. spark up the Barbie. Uh, we're gonna, we, oh, we didn't get any shrimps, did we? Oh, they don't do, that's, don't, the, that's the Paul Hogan thing, isn't it? Anyway, so, we shall see you at the Barbie. Be there, or be square.
Right, so, my friends, it is barbecue time. Now, you've asked for real, real Australians and a real, a real Australian barbecue. <laughs> now, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Okay, so we've got Claire and Kyle here. Now, before we go any further, I know, he looks just like Keith Lemon or Lee Francis, if you're watching from the UK. I'd show you a picture, didn't I? Um, you do agree. A little bit like, just a little bit yeah, like. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, There's yeah. that resemblance there, yeah. Can you, and you're from Canada, though, yeah? Uh, originally, but you, but you born, sound yeah. Australian. Uh, sound probably more Australian than most Australians, I guess, people say to me, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Can you do a Yorkshire accent? A Leeds accent. Can yes, you, you can, can you do this? Simon. Right. Can you go? If I don't can you go? If I don't see your fruit week, I'll see your fruit winder. If I don't see you for a week, I'll see you fruit winder. I see you through fruit winder. That, that's <laughs> it's an Australian Australian Canadian version of Lee Francis. Uh, <laughs> and we've got Claire here. Now you are Australian. Yes. Right. You were you were born in Australia. Born and bred in Alice Springs. Born and bred in Alice Springs. Yeah. And your parents were Australian as well. Australian as well. Australian yeah. as, as you can yeah. get. So basically tonight we're gonna have a barbecue. We've got some steaks. Okay. We've got we've got Paul and Dugs as well, <laughs> who's over there. They're gonna come on in the, on in a moment. Because I know what you'd say. They're not Australian, but they really are, because you've probably been here now, we'll come over to you in a minute, but you've been, Debs has been here longer than you've been in the UK, I'd say, really. Well, almost 50 years. Almost 50 years. So, we're going to go barbecue, we're going to have some steaks, we're going to have some bent sausages. Easy. Easy, Tiger. No innuendos. Um, <laughs> so, we're going to have some, it's a family channel. So, uh, is, do you ever have Castlemaine 4X? No? Mm, no. No. What's the beer <laughs> yeah. of choice here in, in oh, Australia? Yeah. If Mate, everything's oh, expensive to bush chalk. Yeah, bush chalk. What's that? Bush chalk, desert dancer. Yeah, emu, emu export. export. Yeah. Emu export. Yeah, oh, bush okay. chalk sounds like that's that, what they call it. Doesn't it's sound very appetising. Bush chalk, does it? It, yeah, like... it can be pretty rough going down, but uh, <laughs> that being said, uh, you know, sounds worth coming up. Bush chalk. VB visitors beer. Visitors beer. Yes, VB. VB Foster's. Foster. Mm, yeah, no. that's more no. like. Uh, Queens, Queensland, you know. Queensland, yeah. 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 Uh, right. uh, can, no. can you say, yeah, because you're Australian, yeah, what? Can you go to the camera and go, put another shrimp on the barbie? <laughs> we don't, we don't, 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 no. we don't I know you don't on. say that. Oh, I know you don't. Put another, everybody puts another, put another shrimp on the barbie. That's it. It's Paul Hogan thing, isn't it? He made it yes. up for the Americans because it's prawns it, here, isn't it? It's prawns. Yeah, yeah. It is prawns. It, it, do you know it what? A month now I've been in Australia and it's ruined all my childhood from all the Casamain 4X, the Fosters and all the adverts and all the stereotypical <laughs> Australians with corks hanging from their hats <laughs> and stuff. It doesn't happen. And, and home and away neighbours as well. Actually, the, your, your street is actually like... Home and away, or neighbours. It is. It is, it it is, is very is. much like that. Who's? It's real. Yeah. It's, your name's not Madge, though, is it? No, my name's Mac. Your your name's Mac, yes. actually, isn't it? So you've stolen my name. Your name is Claire McDonald. McDonald. AKA. And they Big call Mac. you Mac. 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 Macca. Machiavelli. Macca Mac. Mediva. Macca. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put some steaks on the Barbie, and we're gonna have a good time. So don't go anywhere because this is a proper Australian Barbie, my friends. Australian Barbie. Put another shrimp on the Barbie. <laughs> right. Okay. So Paul, come here. We got you. We got you here. Okay. So you are gonna barbecue for us tonight. All right. Certainly. Am. And we have got steaks. Yeah. We've got sausage. Yeah. And we've got different we've got different types of sausage. We've got uh, pork sausage, we've got uh uh Philly cheesesteak sausage and another one as well. Which we'll uh, we've got the got. barbecue sausages. Barbecue sausages. You've also done something else as well. What's the what have you been making in there? Oh Johnny cakes. What are Johnny Johnny cakes? What are jo what are Johnny cakes? Dumplings being fried. Fried dumplings. Fried dumplings. Now is that an Australian thing? No, it's a West Indian thing. <laughs> West Indian thing. Okay, so we've thrown a bit of West Indian thing in there as well. We've got the barbecue on there. Uh, steaks. I'm going to have mine medium to well, which is sacrilege, really, oh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's 
it's it's it's it's good. Ruin. Ruin. That's how he does it. It's like burn my steak. Yeah, burn my steak. Burn. I, see, can yeah. I, it's the Canadian way. Burn no. and, and the English can burn my burn oh. my steak. I don't want to uh, listen. I don't want to be slapping the steak, and I don't want to be mooing again. No. <laughs> if you give it. A good vet would be able to get that back to life. <laughs> yeah, like kind of, I see. I know all. I know all the uh, things. So you're going to now put the stuff on the barbie. All right, certainly empty. Have you got any shrimp? Nay, no, I'm sorry to say. No. No shrimp. <laughs> all meat. Hey, you've been here years in Australia, hmm. but you've not lost that Birmingham accent. Um, no, you don't. You don't lose it. Keep it. Oh, never, I, I intend to. You know what I say? Never forget your roots. That is true. I'm from Mansfield. That's where I was, well, sort of in Ashfield, but, you know, Mansfield. And uh, that's where I'm from. Never forget your roots. Never, never diss your roots. Never forget your history. That's what I say. Anyway, get, come on, get that barbie on. Right, OK, so Paul's doing the barbecue, OK, but got a little interim uh, thing here. In is it interim thing? Let's call it interlude. Interlude, interlude. OK. Uh, so, in Australia, there's lots of big um, spiders and lots of... Everything's bigger here, isn't it? I mean, I had a cockroach on the wall over in Sydney yeah. that was the size of a... It was, it, it was huge. It was the size of a small house. But you were saying, Nick, I was saying, you had a spider... Just tell the please tell, forget the camera. Just tell the story. Uh, so I remember one night in the Darlington, up in the hills uh, in Perth. Uh, oh. Basically, I remember uh, no. I don't even know what it was. It just uh, something told me to go around with a flashlight like, and look, look around look. because I just had a sense that something wasn't right. Uh, I guess is this in your house? In my yes. house. So yeah. yeah, in the house, um, and I just. Anyway, so I grabbed the flashlight, went around, looking around, and then in the corner of a Big wall, um, there was like a spider that was sort of, you know, it was basically like a dog looking back at you. Oh, with is that the Huntsman, was it? Yeah, Huntsman with the oh. all eight eyes oh, flashing your back. How big are they? Oh, they can get easy. What? Easy like that? Get dinner plates. Oh, oh, no. And this one was uh, pregnant anyway. Pregnant? Pregnant. And, oh. uh, yeah. Basically had uh, had babies <laughs> had babies I guess all, then, all over her back all over yeah what? and then uh, oh. once we had disturbed her in her comfort zone yeah. in the corner of the house where she had been probably situated for probably a good two months three months we, we didn't notice her she ran out and then uh, all were... I remember the spider I trapped her <sighs> with a plastic container we oh, didn't kill her though. no definitely no. not I trapped her with a plastic uh, container around her. Babies ended up skirting all over the all roof, over the top of the roof, no. falling at it, falling down falling little down webs. Oh, little oh, webs. How big were the babies? Of them. Oh, like, like they were teeny tiny, not but about that big, but little huntsmen. Like, like you little could little see, and I'm with a vacuum cleaner like this, trying to suck them. Anyway, so I, suck them all. I, scream, <laughs> I, scream, oh. I screamed out to Claire to get oh. the uh, to get like something, get like a, a cardboard box oh. because it was on the wall now and it was going crazy. Yes. Yeah. It was like, give me my baby! So I put this cardboard box behind the wall. Yeah! Um, oh, next thing you know, no. I brought it out into the back of the yard. Yeah. I threw it through yeah. her. And the next oh. thing I could hear was the leaves. I could see leaves oh, flinging yes, up in the, right. as she's running through the bush. I could see leaves flicking up. Yeah. Like, you could oh, hear it. You could hear you it. Could, you could hear you could her hear running. hear it. And yeah. she was gone. But you could see actually, like, she's probably buried this deep in like um, material waste in terms of leaves come up trees they yeah. were looking like it was like a, a dog running through oh it was leaves. the most fr it was oh, just it was, it was it was pretty full it on, was man. full on was like, yeah it was freaky <laughs> yeah well, all right we need well, a light well, let's, let's, all right that's did you get rid of all the spiders this but we'll we'll oh. be sucked up with the vacuum yeah, we, cleaner we, we, we could killed we night. squished sprayed um yeah, yeah. oh, oh. But so then, this is a video by the australian tourist commission <laughs> Come to Australia. WA, yeah. yeah. <laughs> WA. <laughs> Have you had any since here where you've been now? Here? No, no. I no, no. Because no, no, no. I've been no. bit on my leg today and, I, and I'm like, I, and, and I've said, I don't know whether it's mosquitoes. And I said, tiny little bats. And you've got about red back oh, yeah, yeah, spiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you said, it could be a red back. And you won't know until about three or four hours. Yeah, so just ride When you're going. really, really well, The thing Ill. with red backs is they're, uh, they, they tend to keep their webs quite low to the ground. So yeah. you could be 
walking through. Pass, and then they'll go. And you're kicking, kicking with your foot. Yeah. Right now and your mother had a red back in her shoe, didn't she? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And, yeah. And this was in the same her. house, Darlington. In the same house. Yeah. So she was quite sick, but you know, it's nowadays. Back in the like, 1900s, you probably would have been. That would have been it. <laughs> yeah. But where you live now, here. You've not seen any spiders because you live over the road. There's no, no spiders, well, right? there's nothing really like. I mean, the bush is just there, but I haven't seen anything like no. that yet. Right. Besides so. the occasional kangaroo jumping down yeah. the road. Oh, you've seen yeah. kangaroos? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right with kangaroos. That's good. But the spiders, so any, have you seen any snakes? No. Lizards? No. Lizards? Yeah. Right. Lizards, are, lizards are okay. Yeah, Blue, lizards are okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, but uh, no spiders, though. No spiders, no, spiders. no snakes. Uh, no, it's a pretty, pretty good place. Yeah. Good. Because the funnel spider in Sydney is the worst. The red back here is pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, but the mouse spider, I think it's the cousin yeah. of the, the funnel web. Yeah. Is, um, I've only seen one one time. And what was the one on the ceiling? Was that a mouse spider? No, that was, yeah. mouse spider is a ground sort of dwelling. Um, oh, that was the... the yeah, I think they... I think... I think they're called prehistoric spiders. Yeah. Because they're all like related to the funnel web, which is a ground dwelling spider yeah. which bur burrows into the ground. Yeah. Um, whereas, like all the other ones. Um, you know. Book your holiday to Australia yes. today. Yeah. It's an amazing place to visit. Come and see all the spiders. Come and see the snakes. <laughs> Come and see everything that is deadly With that wants to try and kill you. <laughs> With an amazing tour guide here, Lee Francis Keith Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and if I don't see you fruit wind, if I don't see you fruit wind, I'll see you chasing after a spider. Anyway, well, let's get these steaks and these, mm. these bent sausages on. <laughs> I can't go. <laughs> okay, steaks on first. Here we go. On the grill. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that bent sausage there. That's got a right bend in it, huh? Get some pork on your fork. What have we got there? We've got chicken. Chicken, look at that. Ooh, I want to see that. Look at that. Right, what I've got here is seasoned potato slices. Seasoned potato slices? Oh, yeah. Is this an Australian thing? Um, well, who knows? It's but, it <laughs> but it tastes good. Like potato chips, as they would say here, or potato in America. Chips. But you just... Are these going to be fried potatoes then? Yeah. Good. Yeah, you can keep recording that, I suppose. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yes, my Oh, corn, we've got corn, we need corn. Oh, I'm going to feel the... Um... Here, Deb. Hi. Hey, have you got the corn there? I've got the corn. Just look at the ground there. Yeah. So I'm just going to ask Kyle what he thinks of the uh, barbecue and the steaks so far. It's bang tidy. Oosh! Get these steaks off. 
How's the steaks doing there? Yes. Nicely done. So look at them steaks there, nicely done. Got some chicken on there as well. Got the potatoes on there. Look at that sausage. Hold your sausage up there, Paul. Look at that. Nice bit of pork, sir. Nice bit of pork. That's clear, would say. Get the pork on your fork. Get some pork on your fork. Yeah, this is bang tidy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> what have we got then? Right, we got steaks. Yeah. We got. Uh, oh God, it was marinated chicken on. Marinated spirit. chicken on there. We got. Sausages. We got sausages. We got sausages green, on there. Sausages. We got corn. Ah. Ah. What's what's this? No. That's Titus. Potato. Can you say that? Potatoes. Can you say, but you're a bit higher. Potatoes. It's potatoes. Right, look at this. That is a bent sausage, my friends. Oh, yes. So we're going to test this out. Here we go. I think that one is the... Um, that's not the pork. I think that is the... That might be the Philly... Cheese steak sausage, that one, I think. Mm. Or the basil and tomato. I'm not sure, but it tastes very nice. In fact, mm. oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Right. Maybe. You've also know. got, besides all the meat it's and the pie. corn, yeah. fried onions, the actual potato chips, spicy potato chips, or herby potato chips, salad, we got apple and, walnut. apple and walnut. What have we got here though? Yeah, apple and walnut coleslaw and we got Johnny Cakes. Show us what they are, break them apart, tell us what you've done there. Johnny Cakes are actually fried dumplings. Okay. They're like a, a West Indian sort of little sort of snack thing as you break them apart. They're just like little bread rolls. Very simple to make. How do you make them? Just, oh, drop that on the floor. Just as you do your normal dumplings, but I do them with flour, self raising flour, butter, salt, make them like a breadcrumb. You, 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 you knead them with your fingers, and make them into like a breadcrumb, then you make your bread water. dough as you add the water, you add, as you add the water in. So you make them like a bread dough sort of effect. Leave them for a little while, and it actually starts to rise a little, and then you deep fry them, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Normally, I would have them hot, but you can eat them cold. You can take a bite. Take a bite. Mmm. Yeah. Just like my mom used to make. Oh yeah. Always nice and crunchy on the outside, and sort of like a nice sort of dairy bready effect. More like a hard row bread, which is another sort of West Indian sort of bread. But very nice to eat, with no matter what you want to eat them with. They do go down very well. Mm. A lot of people love them. You can make them with suet. But I prefer to do them the way I do. Everyone has their own sort of way of actually making them before they fry them. Yeah. But they always are fried. Yeah. You can make them big or small. I've just made them small so there's enough to go around for everybody. Awesome. Enjoy. Right, so let's get in a little bit closer. That was the an, a proper Australian barbecue, my friends. So, I'd like to thank everybody here today, including our friend here, our special guest star, Keith Lemon at the back there, Lee Francis, <laughs> yeah? And normally I say like and subscribe, but you're gonna do that anyway. Look at that bent sausage. So, I think we're gonna do here. <laughs> Until next time, we're gonna remember it if I don't see you. So, if I don't, yes. ready? If, if I, I don't, don't see, see you through week, week I'll, I'll see you through winter. Okay, so we've got everything on here. <clears throat> I've got a little bit of steak. I've got to say, 
Paul's dumplings are amazing. These are great. Crispy on the outside. Oh, Johnny Cakes, yeah. Crispy on the outside. Light and fluffy on the end. We've got the potatoes here as well. We've got the steak. The meat from the butchers is amazing. Mmm. Ah, oh, that is good. Sweet corn. We've got the coleslaw as well, which you put, which um, Debs has put walnut and um, um, apple. apple in as well. Coleslaw is my favourite. Mmm. This is too good. Mmm.